everyone. I haven't done a video in a pretty long time, um, and I'm kind of sick today, so I figured I'd just do a fun, not exactly makeup related video. So this is just going to be about what's in my bag. I know a lot of you guys have been doing similar videos, and <clears throat> it's just like a fun thing to do. So here's my contribution. So this is the bag that I usually carry every day. It's from Aldo. And it weighs like five pounds, so I can carry a lot in here. So basically, the first thing I have in here is my wallet, and it's a Nine West wallet. I have had this wallet probably for at least eight years. I got it a really long time ago at um, these outlet shops in Flemington, New Jersey, and for some reason, I just can't bring myself to get a new one. I'm so used to that, so <laughs> that is my wallet, and I carry around a pink notebook. Right now, I'm doing observations in an elementary school for my master's so in here when I go to observe is pretty much like where I keep all my notes on all my kids and everything exciting next I have oh this is really tangled I have my little iPod shuffle in pink my favorite color and I carry this around whenever I'm walking on the path or walking to work or anything it definitely um, makes it a lot easier and it just it just like clips right onto you so it doesn't fall off you don't have to worry about holding it anything like that um, okay next thing in my bag Zyrtec interesting right on Halloween I had a really bad allergic reaction to spirit gum that I put on my face and you can still maybe kind of see mm, I don't know if you can tell there's like a line right there it hasn't gone away fully so I'm taking Zyrtec because I was feeling pretty bad uh, what else is in here? Lots and lots of a million receipts and little notes because I'm too lazy to ever clean out my bag. Um, movie tickets from when I went to go see Surrogates. It was a good movie, by the way. Okay, and pretty much, the, oh, I have a lot of loose change in here and bobby pins. Yeah, that's probably what makes my bag so heavy. Now we get to the good stuff. The rest of what's in my bag is pretty much all lipsticks and lip glosses. And every time I meet a girl who says that she carries a lot of lip glosses in her bag, I'm like, all right, pull yours out. Let's see what you got. Let's see who has more. And nine times out of ten, I always have more. I have a little bit of a sick obsession with lip gloss. Um, if for some reason I leave my house and I forget to bring something with me, which hasn't happened to me in years because I'm, I'm so freakish about it, but if that ever does happen, I have to run to the nearest... Walgreens, CVS, whatever it is, and buy something. Otherwise, I'll sit there licking my lips over and over again and just thinking to myself how dry they are and how I just I need to get something right away. So, the very first thing I have in here is my Lip Smackers Raspberry Melon. This is my favorite one. I've liked Lip Smackers ever since I was a kid. And um, I'm not too crazy about the flavors they carry in the drugstores now, but on their website, it's like bonnevel.com or something. Maybe it's lipsmackers.com. I don't remember. They have all the really awesome flavors. Pretty much anything that you remember from back in the day that they used to carry, they have them all online still. And they're always doing, like, really good promotions. So a few months ago, I ordered maybe, like, 15 of them in all different flavors. So now I never ran out. I have cookie dough. I have um, pina colada. Pretty much anything. You can imagine, they still have in stock. And let me just show you guys real quick. They also have them in jumbo size now. So this is the regular, this is the jumbo. Had to have it. All right, next. This is, oh, another Bonneville one. This is a Vita Gloss. I've had this for a really long time, but it tastes and smells like strawberry and it makes my lips nice and shiny. So keep it around. Then I have, so that's two. We'll keep track here. I have um, Sugar Plum. This is from Target. It came in a set of three. And I think I have the other two in here somewhere, but very by receipt, so we'll keep an eye out for that. Then I keep my MAC Lip Jelly in Sugar Shock, which is actually all, like really similar to the Vita Gloss one. This is a little more pink, I guess. Um, and I love these. I have a lot of trouble with MAC Lip Glosses because I can't stand them. My lips are so, like goopy and super thick but I like this because it makes my lips shiny and you know they're not that sticky so it's one of my favorite MAC products oh here's another one of the um Target lip glosses this one is cappuccino it's just clear with some little sparkles um okay then I have 
the Victoria's Secret Beauty Rush Lip Gloss in Sugar High. And as I'm doing this, I'm realizing how crazy I am because these two are, are pretty much the same also, just with, like, different flavors. Um, and I like the Victoria's Secret Beauty Rush ones, but they're a little sticky for me. And that's okay. My boyfriend hates when I wear them because in his mouth is getting, like, all around. His whole face is all glittery, but, well. Then I have a lip gloss from Forever 21. I don't think this has a color name or anything. It's just, like, a neutral. I like this a lot. That's usually the one I use the most. Sorry, I'm, like, disgustingly sick. <clears throat> then I have um, a L'Oreal Color Juice Lip Shimmer. This one is in Melonade. So it's a pretty, like, corally orange color. Next, this is from Sephora. This is Bronze Beauty, one of their mini lip glosses. I got this in a trio set for free for my birthday, so free lip gloss, always a good thing. Um, then I have a Stilla Lip Glaze in Raspberry. A little sticky for me, but what are you going to do? Um, okay. What's next? I think that might be it for the... Oh, no. Just kidding. I have um, a MAC Luster Glass in Love Nectar, which I just bought this not too long ago. And I'm surprised it took me so long because it's a really beautiful color. Um, okay. Next, I have... Moving on to the lipsticks. This is um, my Cream Sheen Lipstick in Modesty. This is one of my favorite neutrals. I'm usually like an NC27, NC30, so sometimes I struggle finding like lighter neutral colors, and that one just seems to work really well for me. Then I carry around, this is So Scarlet. You know, I'm not really sure why I end up having all these lipsticks with me, because it's not like I wear them too much on a regular basis, but I have my Viva Glam 5. Oh, my favorite. Girl About Town. I love this. I wear this every single time I go out to bars, parties, clubs, whatever it is. It's my signature color, so. Okay, what is this? Oh, Plumful. The bottom got, like, destroyed, so it's so hard to see what it is. Plumful. Um, this is my Slim Shine in Grenadine. Now that I'm taking these all out, maybe I'll just keep them out and make my life a little easier. Slim Shine and Swelter, which looks orangey in the webcam, but it's really not in real life. Um, hmm. What else? Oh, and the last thing in here is the Mini Luster Glass in Flash Mode. And this came out with one of the holiday collections a while ago. So that is, oh no, one more hiding back there. This is a CoverGirl Wet Slicks lip gloss in... Zing. It's like yellow, but it comes out there. Okay, so grand total. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty lip products in my bag. I need to clean it out. So there you have it. That's my bag. Um, not too interesting, but I thought it would be fun to try to make a video out of it. Let me know what's in your bag if you want, if yours is just as crazy as mine. Um, and yeah, so now I'm going to go drink my tea and try not to be so sick. So see you guys soon.